ande tinde kabla ta tinde tinde ya wo tu yudo kala cho yu suma ge yin be ine ya ya jo yu sha ba jik da thali ze ko de ke chim bo yin ba lang long du gi yo de se bo shi da chung su mu che che na de yung ba de yung bo che sha chi se ga bo chi bo sha chi adne de nebli ga she stu la chi ge mina stu and crowns a tick chick news should not some uh never did you buy did it by new online namaskar as we are militants in 34 to ceremony my yeah i'm going to have a cushy like you top of our lab in the egg them chill up jada उनसे वन्य रा प्रार्थना कर चुके मेरे नेपाली राम तो सही ना तेरा दिल वाला मन लागे रहे सब पहले ही हार्दिक स्वागत कर चुके वन्य को तेरे ये देख चिके कुंजो खाला इट्स अ ग्रेट ऑनर एंड ब्लेसिंग टू बी हियर at the ceremony of the 34th Militizing. As I said in Tibetan, uh, this is a very auspicious ceremony because on the day of our arrival, just a day before the enthronement, we witness a magnificent rainbow and a light shower. As per the Tibetan tradition, it's considered very, very auspicious, which means the gods and deities are also blessing the occasion. So hence, I want to congratulate the 34th Meritizi from the bottom of my heart and wish him all the success. And I have had the privilege of meeting with or having audience with the 33rd Meritizi, as we all know him. He was a remarkable figure. Each time you get to see him, it's almost like meeting with a father figure. Even though I'm young, I have met him the first time in 1994. And from that day on, I met him over 20 years. Each time you get to see him, you just feel so blessed. You just feel you are meeting someone in the family you can talk to, you can be very friendly with. And I think he is the only high-ranking Lama that I can joke around with. And he was so humble. And to the point, whenever I ask him for advice, he says, you follow His Solemnness, the Dalai Lama's guidance, you will do no wrong. That's it. That's how the elder generation are. They went through a lot of sufferings. They went through a lot of tragedies. They lost everything, personally for him and also for Tibetan people. But the resilience, the endurance, the determination through which they built this monastery, brick by brick, stone by stone, and recruited each monk personally from a dozen, from just a dozen monks to now to a sprawling monastery with hundreds of monks from all over the world is a remarkable achievement. Especially for Huen tradition, they face more tragedy or threat than other sects, I was told that Huen religion has ka and tengyur, 170 volumes and 300 so also volumes. In the whole of Tibet, we all know 98% of monasteries and nunneries were destroyed. 99.9% of monks and nuns were destroyed. They were not allowed to practice religion. During the physical destruction of all the monasteries, they also burned scriptures and as far as Pern tradition is concerned, 
all their car and think you were burnt. But in one village called Nyarong, 13 monks gathered, they hide or they hid the 170 some volumes in a cave. And the Chinese army came, tortured them, punished them. Among the 13, some of them faced death. They died, but they never told anyone where those scriptures were hidden. Because of these 13 monks who were so brave, who sacrificed themselves to preserve the scripture, the 170 some volumes of Hun tradition Ka was preserved. This reflects both the tragedy and also the suffering. And how much woke Mary Chinze 33rd and others had to go through. And open his arrival in India in exile, even though he was essentially like any other Tibetan, without anything. As we say, we had only sky and earth as our friends. But then he went to the Himalayan region, collected whatever scriptures he could, and he went to Delhi printed it and distributed distribute to various libraries and institutes around the world. And he also encouraged Tibetologists or the Pun scholars to study so that this tradition and religion could be preserved. And this story clearly reflects the tragedy, endurance, resilience and revival. And this is the legacy of 33rd Mary Chinsey. And I'm absolutely certain this evidence, the 34th Mary Chinsey, will continue the great legacy and fulfill his wishes and may dharma spread around the world and may peace prevail on this earth. ตาเดอันเดเปนเดนท้องสุชอนิสุมานชินเรอันเพลย์เมริชินซีกุโตซุมซุบชิเบดัมเดนท้องนี้เบย์เนียซูจูลัมลุดทุนบะยาร์บล